this we got the a new plane from the top plane um, what happened is the top plane is default what I've created is a space between there to this plane now that plane is roughly around about um, so I didn't do that. 30 mil because that's where the head starting I just make this a plane at the bottom this is as, as I go along this is how I make from scratch okay I didn't redo this model this is how I go along this no, from scratch okay. From there, I move to the next part, which is creating the bottom part here, which is actually is just an extrusion from this face and then going that way. Yeah? Do you have the curve on the back already? Yes. I have the curve already at the back. How'd you do that? Just checking. Uh, figure it out yourself. It should be easy. You should be able to do that in Carl you Jen. It's an extrusion, oh, just a sketch. Yeah, hey, but what angle? What do you mean angle? It's there. All right, sweet. Next. And then the next part, can you guys notice the bottom part doesn't have the curve? Guys, shh. There's, a, there's no curve at the bottom. That comes later. Yeah? So next part is I do a cut. So which is the later part. That's the curve part in there. Yeah? Okay. Wait, so. So from there, I'll do that. And I'll do one of the extrusion. This mouse is the shocker there and then I do a, a cut through something like that. Yeah. They pretty much do Next one then, ext then extrude again. Next part I do the track to place that um, the the screws the clamp screws in there so I do a track it goes all the way into the back just roughly I, I don't have an it's just approximate how far all the way in you can match it to this or you can match it to the back end of this edge in there yeah after that i do another a cut extrude which is the the back of it which is just <coughs> from the top all the way down to this plane so starting from the top all the way down this plane how come you already have curves there on that plane one see on the end yeah You've already sketched that, have you? Oh, that's, this one that's... is somewhere in here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Next part is that big giant slope, mm -hmm. which is I can see because that's a loft. If you look at it here. That's a what? Loft. loft. Yeah, I do. I do loft. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Let me see. So the loft. I'll show you the sketch. The sketch for this is. Oh, wow. I'll show it to you guys when you get to this stage. If you want to see it, I'll just show it to you guys. There it is. Wait, yeah. Let me take a picture, man. Let me just do a proper few first. Hang on, there we go. Jesus. I took like 10 people now, alright? I did not kill us that. much. You got it? Will? Nah. I can, I can put all your iPhone users. Hurry up. I can put this video on like, uh, Blackboard for us. Oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Next part. Next Log, part, yeah? guys, next part, might be too next, big. part shh, next part is the back part, which is actually not on the same plane, or not on the, the plane that I created. Top plane. It's on the top plane. Yeah. So what it does is basically just um, loft from there all the way up to the top. Yeah. Now, I just want to double check for you guys. I cannot remember whether it actually has guide curve or not. It doesn't have guide curve, so it should actually just smoothly make that shape. Okay. Second part is your boss extrude. I just extruded from the bottom from this plane to surface. To surface, or try to surface or to next. To next. Try that out. Now the shape of that is this. I'll show it to you guys. looks like that so it's just a black line a curve all the way out to the top and I take the entities yeah. of that the bottom curve so contour entities and you, you just do a line just overlap it and just use um, trim entities to cut any overlapping lines yeah so that part there this curve all the way down to the back that's a um, I just contour entities in there same with the bottom one as well then that's a contour entity Okay, and then extrude all the way up. <coughs> Next part 
is your round pot there. Now that round pot is actually just using the plane on the top plane there. And you just go to the surface, yeah? Yeah, that's right. You guys are learning quite quick. <laughs> so after that is your, I can't remember what is that one called. Ah, to the side, there's a cut extrude right there. Okay, now the cut extrude should be simple. Yeah, it's basically just taking the, using this as the plane How to make that plane. Sorry? How deep did you make that cut? Um, I just made it um, 6.5. Why? <laughs> And then what I do, rather than doing the same thing on the other side, I mirror it. Good, now you're learning really quick. So you learn a bit of strategy, so you can do it really quick. So you don't actually have to do two things at once. Yeah, what if you do that? Next part is the cut extrude, which is your top to put the metal bit in there. And then lastly, man. <laughs> I actually do not know. It's the bottom part. Uh, isn't there. it? Oh, oh, the the circle. Now this part, don't be stupid. Just use this guy here called slot. How to use it? Use it. That's figure it. out yourself. That's right. <laughs> I have to figure all this thing myself. It should be easy. It's a kindergarten. Sure, sure. Awesome. Right, kindergarten. Let's do it then. And that's it. Thanks. Okay,